This is the world's first stick vacuum with a steam cleaning mop. I've been using it for the last few months, but I recently moved into a house with three dogs and figured this was the time to really put it to the test and show you guys what this thing is made of. Personally, I love living with all the dogs, but this one is not fully potty trained yet. So as you can imagine, the floors are disgusting. They need some major cleaning. Here's a look at the before. We've got paw prints everywhere, the golden retriever tumbleweeds, and honestly, the floors just all feel really gross. This is the Mach V1 Ultra. You've got a water tank up top for the steam cleaning, a dirty water tank down below, a spot to put in your hardwood floor cleaner, the Tesla valve mixing, which combines the water and the floor cleaner. The handle has an LCD screen, two buttons so that you can shift through different modes and turn it on and off. You've got the self cleaning button and a knob to control the flow of the cleaning solution. It also comes with a base for the vacuum to stand on that charges it, a container of hardwood floor cleaner, four packets of citric acid, an extra roller brush, and a cleaning tool. This vacuum has a really sleek design. Aside from being a great cleaning tool, they definitely kept in mind aesthetics. It just looks cool. Even on the charging dock in your home, it looks really nice. It's actually won two awards, the Red Dot Design Award and the IF Design Award. The setup for this vacuum is pretty quick. First thing I'm doing is adding the hardwood floor cleaner that it comes with into the mixing valve. This vacuum has what they call Tesla valve mixing, which mixes the perfect amount of cleaning solution in with the water. So not just when steam cleaning, but also in smart mode or when starting self-cleaning, Tesla valve mixing can be enabled. So I simply put some of this cleaner in here, pop it back in, super easy. And then I'm also gonna put water into the water tank, turn it on after charging, and we are ready to go. I told my roommates to just not clean the floors for a week, and this is how it was so let's see how the vacuum handles it we've also got an issue with the dishwasher it just it's definitely ready to be put to the test so i definitely wanted to use the steam cleaning mode over here it needed it once the red light is flashing you know it's reached the temperature you can pull the trigger and it will release the steam it doesn't do this automatically for safety reasons so you have to pull the trigger what's really cool about this is you'll notice that it is suctioning as well it's picking up all this stuff on the floor it's picking up the tumbleweed it actually didn't pick it up the first time but the second time it did. But this saves you a lot of time because we are vacuuming and we are steam cleaning it with 230 degree steam at the same time. This steam is gonna eliminate 99.9% .9 of the bacteria. So steam can be a really effective natural cleaner. Vacuum is TUV certified and EPA certified. Here's a look at the before again, just gross, right? And after, looks way better, but this was a pretty easy spot, right? An area I just know is gonna be needing help is under the garbage can. Let's just take a look. I'm scared for this. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna take a guess this area hadn't been cleaned in a while because there were a few little stains. Nothing major, it does look like your everyday sort of cleaning, but it does a really great job both picking things up and steam cleaning any stains off. So under the garbage can, check, can definitely handle this. Let's see how this does with wet and dry coffee stain. So I've got it on steam mode. You can't really see the steam in this shot, but you can see a layer being uncovered from this floor. And after two passes, it's got the coffee stain gone. I still had it on steam mode for the liquid part, but I would actually change that to suction. This was my first time using it on coffee. And for some reason I felt like I needed to vacuum it really slowly, but you actually don't need to go this slow. There is a fan that is helping to dry, but you can see it was able to fully clean up the coffee stain. Overall steam mode does a really good job with stains. You can see this one here, appears in the first pass. Sometimes it takes two passes, but it's 230 degree steam. So it does a really great job at removing stains, old or new. But I wanted to give it an even more extreme challenge. So we've got some coffee here, hot sauce, coffee creamer, and a little bit of salad dressing. I think these are somewhat common things that you might spill in your kitchen and they're definitely not fun to clean up and pretty challenging for the typical vacuum. I put the vacuum on smart mode. From experience, I found that's the best thing to do in this kind of situation. And pretty crazy, you can see it vacuumed up the coffee in the first go. It actually did this with all of them. So I'm just showing you guys in real time so you can see exactly how it did it with no like editing. You can see I'm not cutting at all or doing anything. It just is able to pick up everything in one go, which is pretty awesome. After picking up the initial mess, I also went through again in steam mode just to really sanitize it. Pro tip for you guys, if you hold the trigger, it will release steam and also maximize the suction power. So that can really help with tricky messes. So 
So it actually picked everything up on the first pass through. Pretty crazy for a vacuum to be able to do that. Afterwards, I put it back on the dock so it could go through the self-cleaning cycle. I'm going to let it self-clean. We're just gonna press that button. Because after cleaning up that much stuff, I do want to make sure the roller brush is extra clean. It is self-cleaning constantly while you use the vacuum, but I like to put it back on the dock after something like that, just because it's going to be a more thorough self-clean. They have a triple self-cleaning system for the roller brush. First, the Tesla valve releases some of the cleaning solution to clean the brush. The EcoClean ozone further minimizes odors and germs. And lastly, hot air is circulated to ensure that it's totally dry. Rather than a dust bin that you get with a lot of vacuums, this has a dirty water tank that you empty and I'll show you guys how to use it. I would recommend putting it down a sink that has a garbage disposal because it's not just water. It is a quick process to empty it out and you don't really have to touch anything, which is great. <laughs> Got that emptied and went back to clean. But I also wanted to try it on a dry mess. So let's see how it does with all of these crackers. As you can see, it's able to pick them up. It's able to handle them. I don't think it's really meant for picking up such big items, but if you really continue, <laughs> it will do it. In this scenario, it is helpful to press the trigger. This is gonna enable a really strong suck so that it can be used as a vacuum cleaner. It also will automatically increase the suction power when it encounters debris. But if you feel like you need to give it a little extra push, you can always just press the trigger. One other thing I wanna note, when you are steam cleaning, it does blow air onto the ground after. This is with their jet blade technology. It doesn't completely dry the floor, but it does give it a good start, but you do wanna let it dry for about a minute or two after. And this vacuum has an 82 minute runtime, so it has a pretty long battery, and then you just put it back on the dock when you're done to recharge. So overall, Mach V1 Ultra versus three dogs, I'd say the Mach V1 won this battle. It actually handled everything. I was really impressed with this vacuum. The steam cleaning is really cool because it does feel like a little more eco-friendly, less harsh chemicals, and it's always just easier to get stains off when you're using hot steam. So I hope that you guys enjoyed checking out this vacuum. I'll have a link down below if you want to get more info or order one. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.